Wow. Money don't mean nothing, man. You know they print that shit. You know what I'm saying? But they can't print principles in manhood. That's what's valuable. And when a woman sees a man who moves like that, since so many don't, she gonna value it in coveting. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Wow. You, you, uh, you meet a woman. Because, you know, I had a girl, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. I had got broke on my... I was, I was busted, man. She came over, man. She was from Arkansas. I never forget. Yeah. I just told my wife about this the other day, and and I ain't had nothing. I had just went through a situation, you know, just getting home, and uh, man, she was liking me. You know, I'm cut up. You know, I'm, yeah, I'm coming yeah. through. You know, what I'm saying, I ain't skin glistening. I ain't seen, you know, I ain't had no contact with nobody for some years. You know, mm-hmm. and uh, she. She loved me, fell in love like that. I ain't yeah, never touched her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All of a sudden, she, you know, I'm, I'm over my aunt's house. I don't even have a place to stay. She ends up buying, uh, she bought all kind of groceries one day. I got mad about that. She done went over there, man. Oh yeah, we need groceries. She done went and bought all these groceries. I come back, I said, what's going on? She say she wanted to do it, uh, and uh, man, messed around there, and she, she bought the groceries, and we kicked it, man, and uh. But I was mad about that, man. Uh, but well, I, I said that to it? say this. I said that to say this. If you have a woman that's taking care of you, looking out for you, she got five million. Yeah. And you, you know what I'm saying? You broke. Yeah. But you got to go by her rules. No, I ain't never going by her rules. <laughs> <laughs> you got to go by her no, rules. No, I don't got to go by. Go ahead. It's the principles of the game. Man, you got to be willing to turn down a million dollars if it ain't coming the way you, you want it to come. It's, okay. it's a rule in the game, right? It's called, I get paid, I don't get bought. You understand me? I get paid, I don't get bought. You can't give me no money in a way that I don't want it. If it's coming disrespectfully, if it's coming with uh, contingencies, if it's coming with ultimatum, you can keep that million dollars. My manhood is worth more than any amount of money. You can't buy it from me. I get paid, I don't get bought. And even in a relationship with a woman, I don't care what she's doing. I'm going to be me and stand on my principles. Otherwise, you could buy me. And if she can buy you, she's never going to respect you. So I don't care if you get 10 million one day. She knows that you can be bought. Your principles are for sale. And you're not a real man if your principles are for sale. (laughs) Your principles for sale. I'm not for sale. Man, I'll move out and have nowhere to stay before I let a woman talk to me crazy, treat me however. I don't care if I'm living with a woman and she paying for everything. She going to treat me with the utmost respect like it's my house. And if she don't, I'm not living there. I'll go be homeless on the street with my manhood intact before I do that. And I live and die by that. And that's how most men should. And when you act like that, guess what? She going to let you stay there and she going to treat you right. Because everything is a test. And for her to see if she can buy your principles once she bought them, now she going to treat you disrespectfully. When she see you not going for it, she going to see you a man worthy of respect. Wow. Money don't mean nothing, man. You know they print that shit. You know what I'm saying? But they can't print principles in manhood. That's what's valuable. And when a woman sees a man who moves like that, since so many don't, she gonna value it in coveting. Wow. Man, Ken, what you think about this youngster, man? He over here hey, whipping and hey, wheeling hey, and dealing. Hey, 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 hey I, I, I wouldn't be hanging with him. Hey, 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 he over here wheeling. But, but, but the, the answer to the he question, over here rolling. If, she tell me, <laughs> if a woman tell me to accept her principles, you know what I'm going to do? What you going to do? I'm up there now and I'm say, break yourself, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to rob the hoe, man. I'm robbing the hoe, man. Give me all that. <laughs> hey, get, ain't nothing that 10 million get away. <laughs> Hey, they gonna look, damn, hey, they gonna be looking for me in the daylight with the fans. Like, <laughs> hey, they put a they go they gonna put an APB out on me, all pimps bulleted. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hey, man, because if you for sale, you for sale. You 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 know you about to be a prostitute next, man. If the bitch could buy your motherfucking respect and buy you and tell you what to do and what not to do, man, it's only it's a listen. It's only gonna be a certain amount of money for you do something else. And then where do it motherfucking end? It don't never end. If you for sale, if your principles is for sale. Where do it end? Lie. All it take is more money and the more. Things you might More do. And I, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna yeah. say none of the names, but you see what's going on in Hollywood right now. For the right amount of money, if your principles could be broke over a little bit of money, for the right amount of money, you gonna do some nasty things, man. So don't break on your principles. That's what I say. Wow, let's go. To, let's go to mainstream. You went almost went there, uh, and you might pull out politically again on me. But uh, <laughs> when it come down to uh, Shannon Sharp, man, and, and that Cat Williams interview, man, they yeah. say a lot of people it upset the water, it, and, and a lot of people done started to, uh, you know. Uh, have issues with Shannon. Shannon feeling like he might be being a little shadow banned and all kind of stuff online shadow now. Man, yeah, like yeah. Think like, so, I, I'm just saying. If it, you know, the numbers ain't going back up to that Cat Williams level. I mean, it, and it opened would... up. It opened up the floodgates for a minute there. Yeah, yeah, but you know that was like a one-off thing. You know, I, I don't feel like the numbers gonna stay up there. How, that's impossible. That did like the most numbers on YouTube. No, period. Yeah, right. But, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, of course, it, of course, sure. it ain't gonna stay up there. 
You know, I didn't hear about it being shadow banned. I was a hell of an interview, though. That shit was better than a cowboy stand No, no, stand not up. that one. I'm oh. talking about just the oh, following since. ones, you know, since the, the, the wave hard, hadn't been going listen, back up like it was. That's a hard act to follow. <laughs> you know, that's a hard yeah. act to follow. And go back to what my daddy always said. He said, always leave yourself room for growth. You hey. know what I'm saying? And that's why I never try to, you know, bring my best or show my best hand on the first swap. You know what I mean? I get better as time go, right? Man, you know, yeah, you know, yeah. you know what I think Shannon should do. He should have me and Ken on there. You know, we might boost some numbers up. Well, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, we get it back up to you. Get it back up there. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I said some shit. Hey, I said I, I tell who I tell who that uh, who that girl was in that Pimp C. Uh, oh thing. no, you can't do that. I told, what I tell you, yeah, I said hey, don't hey, you never tell, hey, tell hey, that. Yeah, tell that on the Shannon show. Don't you never. Don't you never tell it. Don't tell it. Shannon Shay, if you want to know who was the person on that sex tape that Pimp C showed me. Hey man, call me and Goldie <laughs> on the show, and we would get on there and we would reveal who the person I was. I ain't revealing nothing because ah! I don't know. I wasn't there. I wasn't, wasn't there. there. I I was there. So <laughs> I get, I get, I, I now I, I'm gonna give you an answer. You might not like it, but I'm gonna give you an answer. Okay, well let, let me ask you this, guys. I, I gotta I gotta stay stay on point, man. You guys are going around. You guys been on Beehive. I seen you on off the porch. Like, uh, what's next for for this whole duo, man? Well, we're going to do uh, uh we're doing real life street stars tomorrow. We're okay. going to uh, California on the field. We're doing uh, Nick Cannon uh, playing space. Me and Goldie gonna be playing space with Nick Cannon. And probably uh, Waka Flocka, we doing uh, Waka Flocka got a got a. He be on the show with Nick Cannon, and we and we might be doing uh, well. We not might be doing. We're gonna be doing Nick Cannon's master class. Then we're gonna do 19 Keys. You know we, he's interview us, and then Big Court, your man, he's supposed to be getting back. Yeah, 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 for sure. We doing Gangster Chronicles with uh, Doug Steel. Steel, yeah, Steel, and we doing uh, Smoke a Lot Radio with Yuck Mouth, and there's a few more that's unconfirmed. And then after that, we're doing uh, Big Facts with uh, Big Bank, you know, from uh, Big, I mean, we're doing Big Bank Show from Big Facts. And then we uh, got a few more that we got going on. And then, yeah, I'm trying to get Goldie on uh, on uh, the, the View. I want to get him on the uh, uh, CNN show, you know, talking about uh, high value men, you know. And I want to get him on some of the Red Pill podcasts. So, you know, you know, as, tap as, in. Yeah, you know, so if you want to get in with contact with Goldie, you want Goldie to do <clears throat> seminars, whatever, hit me up at 404 790 9627. Only serious inquiries only. We are uh, booking him for everything. You know, you want a personal consultation? We just did one guy, just book him for, for 10000 You know, that includes, that's like a buffet. You know, you get a buffet of Goldie and Ken. You know, you get to go on some of these podcast runs with us. You get to go. Uh, you know, to the VIP parties with us. You know, you get to sit down and get toolage, you know, a tutorial from us, you know, and it's both from both perspectives. You know, go to have his perspective, I have my perspective, so you're going to get a, do a double dose of it, you know. You're going to get two perspectives of the game. You know, he coming from the play, I'm coming from the pimp. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, reason you see